Lots of people have it wrong when it comes to the goal of sales and marketing. They believe that it's all about manipulating somebody to do something that may or may not be in their best interest. And that is, could not be farther from the case. So if you want to learn about a couple of key tools that you can use to help people make the choice to buy from you, then let's go ahead and get into things. Hello, my name is Emma Schirmer Tamir. I am the CEO and co founder of Marketing by Emma. We work with companies from all over the world, and we know a thing or two about strategic positioning and communicating effectively with your target customers. And there are two concepts that are incredibly important that a lot of people either don't understand or ignore, and they could very well be costing you a lot of opportunities, not only to convert more customers, but really to build a pool of loyal fans. So what are those? There are two things, the unique selling position, or USP for short, and the value proposition. And both of these are incredibly important, but not only do people ignore them, but it's really easy to get the two confused. So before we dive into how we can use these, I think it's helpful to start out by defining what they are. So the unique selling proposition is essentially that thing that separates you out from the competition. And that unique selling proposition can be something related to the product or service that makes it different, but it can also relate to some of the other elements around your brand. So it could be that you are committed to supporting a certain cause. It could be that you are upholding a certain set of values. It could be that you are following a specific proprietary process that yields a different kind of result. So whatever it is that really sets you apart and makes you different, you need to be super crystal clear on that. That is your USP. That is the thing that when people are looking at you, compared to all of your other competitors, they instantly know, okay, that's what makes them special. And that special thing I need. Alternatively, you have the value proposition. So the value proposition is essentially what you are promising to your customer. So there's going to be some overlap here between the unique selling proposition and the value proposition, but the value proposition is really what you are promising to deliver to your customers. So that is the promise you're making, the benefit that they are getting from buying from you. So that's really tapping more deeply into the emotional aspect of why people should buy from you. And again, that's why the unique selling proposition and the value proposition can work so well together because a unique selling proposition is giving people a reason to choose you that's maybe more benefit-based and then the value proposition goes even deeper by really connecting in with people's emotions. And when you combine those two, magic can happen. So if you like this content, before we dive in a little bit deeper into these meaty things, I would love it if you would subscribe, like, comment, let me know your thoughts about USP and value proposition. And also I think the lighting is a little bit weird in this video. So please excuse my apologies. I'm trying to figure out a background. I'm trying to light from a new place and I am learning. So please be patient. So what happens when you are able to use these two things? That's where you're really able to create loyal fans and establish deep, meaningful relationships. So I think in order to be able to do this effectively and demonstrate what these two things are, let's look at an example. Let's use the brand Good American as an example, both for the USP and for the value proposition. Now, if you're not familiar with Good American, it is one of the Kardashian brands. I believe Khloe Kardashian is one of the co-founders and they are a denim and now larger apparel line. And one of their real claim to fame and the way that they First onto the seam was a very innovative, I think I said seam instead of scene, but I guess that kind of works since we're talking about clothing and denim. But okay, 
back to the back to USP. So they came out with a really innovative product called the Always Fits gene. And these are essentially genes that can stretch up to four different sizes. And genes are perhaps one of the most uh, unpleasant things to have, have to shop for. At least that's my personal feeling. And one of those reasons is sizing. It seems like every single store has a different size. They all fit in funky ways. And I end up half the time walking out empty handed, even though I'm desperately in need of new jeans. The always fits is different because not only does it take away a lot of the stress and discouragement with trying to figure out what size you are, but lots of women's bodies will naturally fluctuate in size, whether it has to do with their menstrual cycle or just generally um, what, you know, how, how things are. And so by having a gene that is going to sort of adjust as you adjust throughout the month or the year, you're taking off a really big stress on somebody. And so combining that with very body inclusive language, they established a very unique segment that really didn't exist. Up until then, yes, jeggings were around, but jeggings are still size that were more or less one size per pair. And so to really have something that is so flexible and so dynamic was very unique to them. Now, separately, their value proposition is speaking about how this is going to make the wearers of the jeans feel when they put them on. So it's not only about the size itself, but what? how does that matter to the customer? And then all of the other things that the brand is really committed to. So they're, they've been on the forefront for a long time of bringing in body positivity and inclusivity with a very wide sa- size range. And so when you combine that with these genes that are going to be forgiving and flexible, you really start to understand that this is something more impactful and more emotional beyond simply just a pair of blue jeans. The blue jeans are a function, but the feeling good and confident and great in your body, no matter no matter what, is a, a value that goes far beyond just the jeans themselves. And so both of these are incredibly important. So they would be able to do one or the other and still probably find success, especially because the Kardashians are very smart marketers and have uh, large followings at their disposal, especially across the entire family. However, I don't believe that that is the only thing that has allowed them to be successful because they really have been very clear about what it is that they're doing, what they're committed to, both on the larger brand side, as well as with the different developments that they have uh, in in coming out with new denim products. And like I mentioned, I know that they sell things beyond denim now, but that was really their core product offering. So what do you think? Are you confident in being able to figure out what your unique selling point is? Or are you feeling a little bit nervous, like you don't want to hone in on just one thing? I understand it can be a little bit scary if you want to geek out a bit more on branding and figuring out both who your customers are as well as who your brand is so that you can build out these profiles and identities to then take them to the next level with a USP and a value proposition. Then I have a few videos that will be in this playlist that I would highly recommend that you watch. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this useful, please give a like, drop a comment below, subscribe, and stay tuned because I have a lot more content coming your way. Bye.